basically everything on this bike is what I have picked, especially with the West Highland Way in mind. You need a real mountain bike. You need something light, but you need something solid and robust. Santa Cruz Blur, full suspension, frame, 100 mil travel at the back. The reason I've gone full sus, I mean, it's heavier, but it's going to be faster. I'm running a Sid Shop from Rock Shop, and the fork I chose is a Sid Ultimate. I've gone for the 35 mil stanchion version for riding down you know, the Conic Hill Devil Staircase and gnarly rocky drops and turns and basically just real technical stuff. The wheels and tyres have been a big, big point focus on, so reserve uh, rims on Industry 9 hubs. The tyres are Continentals, Race Kings, which was kind of my tyre of choice. It's one of the fastest rolling tyres about. Also got the protection sidewall on there, so it should give us a bit of protection from punctures, which is probably my biggest fear. Flats are something I'm really concerned about, so we've got plenty of Revel sealant in there from Conti, and I've also, the kind of the secret weapon is the Kush core. The full drivetrain, basically all the components are from Tram, so we've got level ultimate brakes, we've got the Axis reverb and Axis drivetrain. The advantage of having it wireless, the biggest thing is the simplicity. It's kind of like you just screw the components onto the bike and they're running. It's super simple, really clean, just works. Axis Eagle with the 52 tooth cassette, so it's a 10 through to a 52 tooth, running a 34 tooth chain ring and a quark power meter. Cross country bikes never used to do this fun. It's flipping amazing. Running so good. Who knew getting your seat down was awesome? An absolute dream build, it's like Christmas. Yeah.